Hi, my name is Oris Dostapiak, and I'm a medical physicist here at the Jurevinsky Cancer Center. I'm responsible for all the technical aspects that deal with radiation therapy for cancer patients. The bolus is actually to enhance the radiation that will be incident on a target. So it's used over targets. It's not used over healthy tissue. And that's part of the reason the precision is so important, is that you don't want bolus to be over healthy tissue. You, you want to just make sure that you're only bolusing the regions that where you want dose to go. I have here a picture on my screen. This patient has a tumor growing between his nose and his eye. We've overlaid this piece of um, tissue equivalent material. Now in the past, that material we would have to custom make. We'd make it from layers of Vaseline and gauze. Somebody would have to carefully uh, prepare it. We'd have to custom cut it to size. And that used to be quite a difficult thing to do. Now, we've developed a technique that uses 3D printing, whereby we can take that shape and export it directly into a program that will reproduce it in a form that the 3D printer can print. So this obviously saves some labor and some time. It's interesting because you can see that the inside surface is somewhat corrugated and those corrugations actually match the mesh that the patient's wearing. So this actually kind of interlocks into the mesh, making a very good fit. Here we are in the lab where we actually print the boluses. Thanks to the foundation, we've got the Ultimaker 2 Plus 3D printer, which has proven extremely reliable. The material we actually use to print the boluses with is, um, it's called PLA. It's made uh, from plant-based oils. So it's, uh, it's extremely environmentally friendly um, and it, uh, it, it's relatively cheap. So it's, a, it's an excellent choice for making bolus. The design of the bolus is taken from the computer and put on a flash card. And for using the menu on the front of the screen, I can just select the bolus for printing. So it's going to take a little while to warm up. The nozzle is heating up to the temperature at which the PLA will melt, between 195 and 240 degrees Celsius. At the same time, the build plate is getting hot, and that'll allow the, the plastic to just stick to the build plate. Over the summer, we've had a lot of development work done by a, a summer student. The summer student uh, changed out uh, the fine nozzle that's used to print very fine detail on, on people's models to a, a fairly coarse nozzle, the one that's 0.8 millimeters in diameter, that allows us to lay down the plastic at a much faster rate. So that when we first got the printer, a job that would take six hours now takes under two hours. And that's very helpful. So if the demand s starts to spike, we know that we can fulfill the demand. And that's what's going to print. As the uh, job progresses, it'll keep building up layer by layer. And the projected time to complete this is 2 hours and 14 minutes. Mm -hmm.